Now this is what people not only here in Tucson wait for each and every year, but people all over the world. We're talking about the big Tucson Gem and Mineral Show that goes on at the TCC. Let's find out what we can expect for this 64th year of this event from Peter Maga. Peter, 64th year? Not my 64th year, but it's the Tucson Gem and Mineral Society 64th year, yes. Well, it, it obviously gets bigger, better. It, it just is something, like I said, people wait for every year to come around the world, literally come here to Tucson for this. But if somebody by chance out there, that one person doesn't know what this is, what is really the show all about? Well, the show is about the Tucson Gem and Mineral Society part of the show is about enjoyment and education of the wonders that are produced from the earth, the beautiful gems and minerals that that we collect, that we love, that we put in museums and that we try to educate people about. I know I know every year we kind of have like a theme that that we're we're going with uh, each year. This year is like crystals. Yes, this year is crystals and crystal form. So the, the the focus really is on large individual crystals and ways of looking at them so people can understand a little bit of the science of crystallography, which is a fancy name for un understanding the different shapes that they have. You can actually tell a lot about what, what a mineral is if you understand how to decipher its geometry. How interesting. It sounds scary, but it's really <laughs> a lot of fun. <laughs> no, I was gonna say, it sounds so interesting. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I do wanna mention, you're talking a little bit about who puts on the show. Can we learn a little bit more just about the, the society and, and what you guys do? Well, the Tucson Gem and Mineral Society is the organization, it's a local nonprofit hobby organization. We're all volunteers and uh, we've been around since actually since before we decided to have our first show in 1954 and um, you know we are dedicated to educating people on earth sciences and minerals and we love it ourselves. So this is our gift to Tucson in the world every year is the our show which is sort of the nucleus that has spawned all of the commercial activity that you see around it. Actually, that's what was I where I was kind of wanting to go with that is this is like you said, kind of like the nucleus. So I'm sure people ask, how is this related to all the other shows that have kind of been going on? Um, well, the wonderful thing about the overall Tucson Gem and Mineral Showcase, which is the city's name for all of the, depending on how you count it, 47, 52 or 57 different shows right. that are around in Tucson. Um, the Tucson Gem and Mineral Show itself is a trade name and all that good stuff. Uh, but we're the local nonprofit organization. We put it on for the public. So in addition to the commercial aspects, which all the shows have, we have a major focus on exhibits. We have a major focus on education for kids, for adults. Um, we are the one that's for the public and the monies that we receive, we plow back into the local Tucson economy. So we're putting money into earth science education at the grade school, high school and university level locally. Oh, we love that. We love local, local, local. Uh, I also want to hit on a couple of those things that you kind of were saying sl were slices of the pie. Let's start with the kids aspect. There is actually lots for the kids to do. Yeah, we've had a big push for many years for for educating kids. It's you know you you get them started yeah. young, and they have a love of minerals and the earth for their life. And so we have a program that we do with the Earth Science Student mm -hmm. Club from the University of Arizona, and they put together this big interactive. Uh, display and program where the kids come down and they go from station to station and they learn about earthquakes and volcanoes and dinosaurs and mineral identification and all the stuff that they no longer teach in schools yeah. because even though Arizona has a major part of our economy comes from mining and other kinds of natural resource development of uh, our school system doesn't teach that anymore so yeah. we we do and the students at the university get a great opportunity because you never learn as much as you do when you're teaching so they learn their their subjects better the kids get it and when the kids are done they finish with an egg carton full of minerals that they can identify wow. they get a treasure map or a treasure program where they go out and look at different exhibits throughout the hall answer questions and come back and they get a nice mineral specimen and start their collection with. How awesome. Now the kids get to walk away with that and I, I don't want to uh, miss the fact that I'm wearing something beautiful right now. Uh, speaking of walking away from uh, mm -hmm. the show with something, what am I wearing right now? Well, what you're wearing now is the grand prize in our free drawing. Uh, everybody who comes into the show, in addition to your ticket, you get a ticket for the, the, the drawing. Yeah. Every hour, uh, 
one of our dealers has given gifts that we then give to the lucky member of the public and the luckiest member of the public, and it could be you, ah. uh, get to go away with this lovely uh, necklace designed and made by Wolfgang Wartz from down in Rio Rico, uh, very generously given it to us. It's an amethyst in in gold and other metals, and I understand that's your birthstone. This is so my birthstone. You're coming down to register four or five times, I'm sure. I said it is, it's fate that I'm wearing. It's an amethyst, it's beautiful. Uh, I love that this is the grand prize. I'm gonna give everyone kind of the details when they can come down. Of course, uh, remember mm -hmm. that that drawing is available. But Peter, thank you so much. And please tell everyone in the society, thank you for doing this uh, for us locally every year. It's wonderful. Well, we appreciate it and come on down. We're at the Tucson Convention Center starting Thursday, running through Sunday and uh, you know it's a great program we've got museums from all over the world exhibits of a beautiful hot pink tourmaline crystal oh. about this long an aquamarine crystal the size of an oatmeal tub uh, <laughs> we've got some wonderful exhibits this year well we appreciate it and everything that you guys bring here I'm gonna remind you one more time Peter the Tucson gem and mineral show kicks off this Thursday at the Tucson Convention Center and continues through Sunday Friday act active and retired military and seniors 62 and older actually get two dollars off their admission for more information, give them a call at 322-5773 or go online to tgms.org.